What's up guys and welcome to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Character Profiles. This week we're doing Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds and we're doing Primo. So first up in the English version he's known as Primo. In the Japanese it's translated to Placido. His age, I'm not quite sure but he's got the appearance of like a 20 year old maybe? Maybe even 18? His anime debut was in Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds episode 65, A New Threat Part 1. And here are his wins and losses. He's not played too many duels but enough to give him a duel score. So a quick gist on the character, he's one of Aporia's three embodiments of despair. He's also one of the three pure nobles of Yelasta, and one of the main antagonists of the second season of Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds, along with Lester and Jacob. As one of the three emperors, he's working to complete the grand design. However, unlike his allies, he is quite impatient and started several plans of his own agenda in an attempt to force the completion of the circuit by attacking the WRGP preliminaries with the Diablo dual bot army. You say Fudo thwarted the invasion by defeating him and after being repaired, Primo began supporting Jacob's plan by joining the WRGP as part of Team New World. And fun fact, Primo is actually one of the few left-handed duelists in the franchise, along with his other embodiments as well as Paradox and Bruno. His name Primo could mean of top quality or importance. His name in Italian can mean quiet or calm, which could reflect his personality. So, Primo is a young man that appears to be an intermediate between Jacob and Lester in height and age. Like the other emperors, Primo wears primarily white cloak-like clothing over his own black and white riding suit and carries a sword. He has a grey metallic eyepiece that covers his right eye and a triangular green circuitry filled gem on his forehead. He wears a white hood with decorative grey lightning bolts that point backwards almost like horns. He has red eyes and spiky grey hair split down the middle into two different shades. He has a bald spot above his right eye with a small mark in the middle. Underneath his left eye, Primo has a scar that runs down his cheek. Primo is usually dressed in grey metallic armour. A major part of it forms a large hoop-like collar around his neck that connects to encircle a large green gem on his chest, giving its infinity-themed look. A piece of armour also runs down his back and opens up to reveal a series of ports, which attach to tubes on his dual runner. Under his armour, Primo wears a white turtleneck bodysuit with black stripe that runs down the centre. He also has arm-length black and white sleeve covers which are adorned with red gems. These seem to be a part of his body as it is revealed that his deck and deck holder rests in a space inside his arm that can be accessed by opening the jewel at his wrist. Primo was unfortunately ripped in half upon being defeated by Yusei, however he later returned having been fully rebuilt and is shown with new red marks on his face, one beneath his left eye and another that runs down the left side of his face. His hair is, funnily enough, also spikier than it previously was. Primo carries his sword on his right side because he's left-handed. It's gold with an infinity symbol between the hilt and the blade. The sword serves to create portals, be used as a dual disc, and as a key that allows Primo to combine with his dual runner, the T666 Terrible Omen. So a bit of backstory on the character. In a future where most of humanity is wiped out by what was believed to be Enter D, Aporia was one of the few human survivors. He and the other survivors, Antonomi, Zone and Paradox worked on a way to restore the world to the way it once was. Shortly before Aporia died, he requested that Zone split him into three incarnations based on the three major despairs of his life. Zone complied and the three embodiments of despair, Lester, Primo and Jacob were created and sent to the past. Primo is a Aporia's mid-age years and was the embodiment of despair Aporia suffered after losing the one he loved. During Aporia's duel with Yusei, Aporia revealed that Lester, Primo and Jacob were all one and the same, just different periods of Aporia's life. Lester was the childhood, Primo his adulthood and Jacob his elder years. Primo uses a Weasel deck focused around his Mech Lord Emperor, Weasel. Primo's main summoning strategy is through using Wise Core, using cards such as Spark Breaker, Explosive Blast or Twin Vortex to destroy it himself. Once summoned, Primo utilises the various upgrades of his Mech Lord to enhance its strength further, using cards such as Wise A3 and Wise T3 to quickly replace the weaker versions of his monsters with much stronger ones, as his Mech Lord Emperor, Weasel is the only monster that can 
can attack while face up, Primo gears the majority of his cars towards allowing it to inflict piercing damage or attack multiple times, making the opponent's defensive maneuvers useless. He also uses cards like Divergence and Weasel Top 3 to protect it from being destroyed by an opponent's tactic. And with that, guys, that's another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Character Profiles done. Let me know what you thought in the comment section below. Is Primo your favourite out of the three embodiments of Aporia? And who would you like to see after that for the original series? Just let me know below. And thanks a lot for watching.